Arnold Bernier would say, Dr. Arnold Bernier would say, if you're going to be an athlete, right, a professional athlete, you must train like a professional athlete. And if you're going to be a chiropractor, you're a professional, you must train the aspect of, of being a professional. If you're going to be a business owner, you must train your mind to be a professional business owner, right? So I take that in perspective of like, okay, I'm not just an entrepreneur. I must own and dominate being an entrepreneur. So what I do is I spend a lot of time, a lot of people who've spent time with me, they, they know this is true. It's like, I spend the majority of the day on a podcast. Like, it just doesn't stop. I wake up, go for a walk, three hour podcast, right? I go in the sauna, listen to a podcast. I go um, eat lunch or whatever while li listening to a podcast. I sit on my couch and chill, maybe drink some coffee or some tea. I'm watching a podcast, right? So for me, it was super important to really uh, to dive myself in the commitment of what would it take to be successful in this profession. Um, I love the entrepreneur mindset of being a business owner. Um, at times, I love it a little bit more because it's more of a global effect than than just chiropractic itself, because chiropractic is the vehicle that I use to affect people. But the entrepreneurship is actually like the rings above it. Right. So that's one thing that I'm always working on. And I think those who and you, you did bring up a good point, like what like what does Paul spend a lot of his time doing? I really spend my time learning about how I can make passive income. Because with passive income, you are setting yourself up, not just yourself, but your family's family for success. So that's one thing I, I spent a lot of time doing. And then in terms of marketing, you got to understand that the market completely shifted to when I was in school to now. What is cool is that I've been in both generations. The old generation is where you had to go out there and scream, right? And not saying that you can't do that today, but my first year in practice, I did 100 screenings and got X amount of new patients. But now we're in the digital marketing world where I don't screen almost at all and I get double the amount of new patients that I did back then. So really listening to the young people because as, as we start to age, we're, in the, we're, we're the middle child now. Um, we're the middle child where we're, we're the OG and the little G at the same time, right? Because there's obviously there's people that are above us but now the people that are below us, they're like 10 years below us. So we, we, the, we the OGs to them, but the people that are above us, we're still little Gs, you know what I mean? But I think that new generation, just like we came in and made waves, they're coming in and making waves. I'm just keeping my ear to the street and listening to what the hell is going on out here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And social media marketing is where it's at right now um, to build a business, to also bring the awareness. How many people can you touch with one good post. So many, I just had a post just hit um, 20K views and that's like me breaking breaking the mold there because I was I was at 8K, 9K, and then in 24 hours I had a post hit 20K. So it's just like, can we create content that is going to be important for people where they take it in and they save that content, you know what I mean?